Right? This is what we require as human beings right? to ensure happiness, present prosperity for myself and for others. Let me just please this now, then we will come back to the question. So this is what is required for us as human beings to ensure. On the other hand, if we are only working for physical facility, what will happen is this. So if this is missing, this is missing, we are only working for physical facility. Because right understanding and right feeling relationship is not there, this, instead of happiness, we have unhappiness. Right? For yourself and for others. Similarly, because you don't have the right understanding, you are not able to identify how much physical capacity is required for you. And therefore, in regard of how much you have, you continue to feel deprived. Right? And when you feel deprived, you will think of exploiting others or nurturing others. <laughs> exploiting others, right? So you start exploiting others, so you deprive others also. As a result, the kind of people we have in the society today is this. Right? People lacking physical facility, unhappy and deprived. And there are people who are having lot of physical facility, unhappy and deprived. <laughs> Where you are? One or two? <laughs> Where are you? One or two? So that you can find out. Okay. Where you want to be is this. Having physical facility, happy and prosperous. This is where you want to be, right? So I will leave it for you to decide, you know, whether you are one, two or three, and where do you want to be. Right? So I will leave that for you to decide, you know, think. But the further conclusion that I want to draw is this. I will come back to this. The conclusion is very simple. If you are only living with physical facility or working for physical facility, right? You are living with animal consciousness. <laughs> because this physical facility alone is going to be sufficient for human beings, uh, for animals, right? Not for human beings. Right? On the other hand, if you are living with this bigger circle, right? Ensuring right understanding, relationship and physical facility, you are ensuring mutual happiness and mutual prosperity, you are living with human consciousness. Right? Now, the question is, you can find out for yourself whether you are living in this smaller circle or the bigger circle. That is, whether you are living with animal consciousness or with human consciousness. That is one important question to ask to yourself, right? I am not looking for the answer. <laughs> the next question that I would like you to ask yourself is whether this transformation from animal consciousness to human consciousness is desirable, not desirable? It is desirable. And this is what I am calling as progress. This is what is development. It right? is moving from animal consciousness to human consciousness. Right? Thereby living with happiness and prosperity for yourself and for others. Is this transformation from animal consciousness to human consciousness? And this is progress. This is development. So now you can see whether we are developing or we are going round and round in this circle. <laughs> so this was one conclusion, you know, which I wanted to draw and leave it for you to reflect upon, right? The second thing which is related to this, you know, is what is the role of education in this? So the role of education is to ensure this transformation, right, from animal consciousness to human consciousness, right? 
So now if you look back, that was the question we had started with, right? Holistic development and role of education. The holistic development would mean, I move from here to here, where I, I can ensure happiness and prosperity for myself, and I work for happiness and prosperity of others. This is holistic development, right? And the role of education is to enable this transformation from animal consciousness to human consciousness. Which in turn would mean ensuring right understanding in every individual. Right? Ensuring the competence to live with relationship with other human being. Right? And the competence to produce more than what we required as physical facility. Therefore, ensuring happiness and prosperity. That is what the education would mean, right? The human education <coughs> in star would mean. To ensure the right understanding, right? in every individual, in every student, ensuring the competence to live with relationship with one and all, and the competence to ensure, you know, production of physical facility more than what is required, you know, which is identified in the right understanding. <coughs> this is what the education would need to do. Right? Are we doing that? Or the present education is just focusing on this? <coughs> So these three questions I will leave you with, right, for lunch. It will be a very difficult hour to <laughs> lunch with this. But the three questions are, are we living in human consciousness or human consciousness? That is one question. Second, is it required to have this transformation from animal consciousness to human consciousness? Third, if this is required, who is the major player? What is the major, you know, kind of activity in our society which play going to play a significant role in this. That is, is the role of education to enable this transformation? If yes, are we ensuring that kind of education? Right? If no, certainly we need to do it, right? So we need to do something about it. And what we need to do about it is what we are going to discuss in all these eight days, right? So with this as the background, okay, two things I have clarified. Number one, the content of this workshop in all eight days to come is trying to understand what is this right understanding in this area. Then trying to see what is living in relationship with human being. Then also trying to find out how much physical facility is required for us as human being and whether it is possible for us to produce more than what is required with the existing you know, nature you know, around us. So these are the three things which we are going to explore in this 8 day workshop. Regarding the process, I have already demonstrated that it is all going to be in the form of a dialogue. Right? A dialogue which is starting between me and you. But soon it is a dialogue which is taking place within you, yourself. Right? So through this process of dialogue and through the process of self-exploration in each one of you on the basis of your natural acceptance, we will try to investigate into all these issues. Right? So that is about the content and the process of this 8 day workshop. So when we come back, we will start with this idea of right understanding. Or if there is any question on this, we will take it off. So we break for lunch. What time do we meet again? So we we'll meet at 2.30. At lunch, we will finish. Yes, sir.